And you're a good mom, just sitting here hanging with him. My kids are out of control. Like pretty far. All right? OK, good. But how old are they? Uh, she's no, my kids. How old are my kids? I just think the show tonight needed a little great. something. Like a little something. Maybe some naked girls or something. What do you think? Seriously, when you guys play, did you like, do you love the audience or do you just love yourself? The latter. Yourself. Are you, are you a hot guy or do you just look like it? Both. Thank you people for tuning in to KH784 Cable Access Television. Signing off with <laughs> Billy Zill from the training. <laughs> We're not trying to be anything, like, we're not trying to be like anyone, so it's possible for us to really get motivated. It's just up to all of us getting in the jam room and taking it seriously. Dude, you gotta figure, like, dude, less than a year and a half ago, we were, like, totally joke. It's not like we can just go in and redo, like, and make really good songs, because we've never made good songs. We need to figure out how to make good songs, and, like, we need to figure out quick, because we were not really planning on anything like this, but I think we can do it. Cut You Up was fun to watch play live, because Brennan's always throwing up. Chris and Brandon are always talking to each other about uh, whiskey on the back of people's necks and stuff like that. And then Micah is always dancing around in his own world, like praying to fucking Sterculius, the Roman god of feces. They would just set up wherever they could, and they'd rock out, and they'd do their thing, and perform, and uh, make jokes along the way. And kids were into it. It was cool to watch kids who had no idea come and watch this band that they'd never heard of before and get into it. This is a song about two guys they just want to be friends, but there's feelings, greater feelings than that involved. And it's like they have trouble just hanging out together and having a good time without, like, sometimes just, like, looking into each other's eyes, you know, like this, like, when you look at your friend, you're like, I kind of want to kiss you. When you're a band and you're there and you don't really care about whether people like you or not or anything, you're just up there to have a good time, you always win people over because they just kind of, like, they, they see how stoked you are to be there. John... Have you guys ever heard of him? Total fucking alcoholic. Nice guy, though. Nice ass. Set of pecs. Washboard stomach. Balls the size of Milwaukee. And a giant cock. Fits right in my mouth. <laughs> How'd you get here? I fucked somebody. I'm always looking stupid and fat. That's a sign of a serious, serious problem. It's called a drinking problem. Feels so good. Take it. There it is. Tally cards. Best way to drink. This is why it was a good show, because finally we get the fucking respect we deserve and they give us beer on the side stage. Hey, fucking about lighter. time. You guys hey, we're not lying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Awesome, yeah. Yeah. Doesn't matter what it sounds like. Look how fucking cool they look. No, that's <laughs> true. <laughs>
Oh, the gas mask on. Save it Sexy forever. Face. Save it forever. Okay, there's been a problem with these 12 year old Asian hookers that have been trying to sneak onto the bus. Somebody put on a pair of sunglasses and got a bunch of power. <laughs> I'm wearing sunglasses and I feel like I'm the boss of everybody. I'm, I'm the boss of you. And when you're in a van, fecal matter, you get to ride in the bus, it's like a little slice of heaven. It was very fun nights having the little boys on my bus. Sunday. Look, it looks like Rain Man. <laughs> hey, someone here is not gentlemen. And I wonder if it's the guy's not wearing the fucking golf visor, huh? <laughs> so we'd turn on music and we'd watch the stars go by. We'd read, read each other poems and dance. Riding on a bus, the little bunk beds with the little TVs and the little curtains. You got everything, you know. You're right, you wake up at three in the morning, you're like, ooh, corn dog, uh, orange juice. So I play Xbox, you know? You bed in the bag. It, it's amazing. Try to fucking play! Quit ruining our fun! Shut up! We're trying to play! Shut, Shut up! up. Join that video games up here. We go to sleep really late and we wake up the next morning and we just say, oh, that was so fun. Let's do it again. See, some of the times on the tour, we would split up and some of us would go around on the buses and stuff like that. Me and Brendan went with Tom into New York. Brendan Rosh. Chris Cote are having fun with Tom and this and that, and they fucking just flake so hard. Good, Good show. Good day. These fuckers, they don't show up. They're stupid. This is our best fucking show. I'm fuming. I already kicked in the van door, so it doesn't matter. They're stupid. They don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. Come back and hang out. You had all day to get back.